because everything is energy. And I'm lost. Oh, so. <laughs> Namaste. Hi, my name's Dr. Mark Dudley, and I am from Utah, USA. 75 years ago, my grandfather was involved in a car accident, and he was paralyzed from the neck down. And the doctors told my grandmother that the only way that he would be able to walk is if she started learning natural health care and natural medicine. And as a result, she came across a chiropractor. And the chiropractor started working with my grandfather. And after about two years, my grandfather was able to walk again. And it doesn't seem like a big deal, but 75 years ago, that was unheard of. My grandfather was a successful farmer. And my dad and my, my uncle both became chiropractors. And so I grew up in the chiropractic family. And as a result, there's 26 of us, I believe, in the family that are chiropractors. And I have two brothers that are chiropractors. My father, Dr. Alan Dudley, and my two brothers, along with myself, have helped study a lot of different chiropractic approaches on how to help heal the body naturally and help the body recover from injuries and, and also help how to help prevent injuries in the first place. And we helped develop something called Dudley Chiropractic Neurological Rehabilitation. And it's a combination of a number of different chiropractic techniques. And a lot of people wonder, what is chiropractic? Um, in America and in Canada and Australia and many places in Europe, chiropractic is a common um, medical procedure. Um, chiropractic, we're doctors of chiropractic. Our belief is that the life force flows through the nervous system. And so we have nerves that exit from our brain down into our organs and to our extremities and different parts of our body. And if something is pinching a nerve that goes to an organ or to an extremity, if we can remove that nerve pressure, we're gonna help things heal. And so chiropractic use is very similar to physical therapy, but we actually are doctors and we use instruments to help remove the nerve pressure, to help things heal up better. Chiropractic was developed in 1895 by a gentleman named D.D. Palmer in Iowa. And his first patient was a patient that was deaf. He could not hear. And D.D. Palmer was actually a magnetic healer. And he found that there was a bump in the person's neck. And when he applied a force, there was a loud pop in his neck and the gentleman could hear immediately. And that's what started the science chiropractic. Chiropractors are doctors. We go to seven or eight years of chiropractic university. Um, very stringent examination processes in order to become a chiropractor. Um, in my family, we've studied many different approaches to chiropractic. One of the techniques, I guess you'd say, that we studied the most, or my father actually was part, a lot of the research and development with, is the activator methods. And this is an instrument that we actually use in order to move the bones. It's a, it's a very high velocity, low force instrument, and it's very painless. And lots of times we can do it to take the pressure off the nerves to help things function better. One of the other things that I've studied quite extensively is something called quantum neurology. And quantum neurology is an approach where we test every major nerve in the body and we've developed a way to help rehabilitate those nerves. And so we utilize this in geriatric cases, we use it in children, we use it in a lot of workplace injuries, and we use it in a lot of sports injury. We have a lot of athletes that come to us that they've already had their surgery and they've done their work with their orthopedic surgeons and their rehabilitation, and a lot of these people are still struggling, and so they come to me, and by testing the nerves differently and helping them heal differently, we're able to help the patient respond and, and function a lot more optimally. I had a very successful practice in Utah, USA. The US Olympic ski team and snowboard where they practice. And 12 years ago, I had the opportunity to meet with Guruji Arun Kumar. And he taught me a healing technique called Pranashakti Mahavidya. And it's something that I incorporate with my clients not only do we work with neurology, do we work with chiropractic, 
we work with rehabilitation and we do other techniques, but we also try to incorporate the spiritual aspect of Pranashakti Mahavidya. And we find that in doing that, we, a lot of times we can help the client get to more of a deeper root of their problem because everything is energy. So the first time I came to India was 10 years ago. Guruji asked me to come to India and work with some people that um, he was close friends with in Chennai. And honestly, I just fell in love with it. I felt like I had been here before. I felt like it was so familiar to me, the food, the taste, the smells of the city. And I asked Guruji, I'm like, what is this? I feel like I've been here. And he's like, oh yes, we were all together once. And you left. And so, growing up Christian, the idea of past life really wasn't real to me. And now, I believe it. And I feel like I have had a past life here in India. And I don't know, there's something about it that I feel like there's a lot of good that I can do to help the Indian people. And I think there's a lot that the Indian people can help teach me. My purpose is to help people get well naturally. Now, we have allopathic medicine, and that's wonderful. We have Ayurvedic medicine, and that's wonderful. And we have other types of healing that are absolutely wonderful. What I feel is that I found a way that we can help work with the body differently than what's being used here in India. And I think that it's safe, and I just really want to be a part of something. And I think this would be a wonderful opportunity here. I've only been here a week. And the amount of support that I have received from the government of India, from so many professionals here in India, in the doctors, allopaths, um, other professionals, um, has been absolutely wonderful for the kindness and the support that I've received by being here. And I would just like to say thank you. So, and, you know, because of the, the wonderful reception that I receive here, I would like to give that back and I'd love to give it back to the Indian culture. I'm currently in communication with different universities in the United States um, where we would like to bring chiropractic as a, as a profession here to India so we can help train and teach many Indians how to also incorporate this type of healthcare into their lives. So the idea of chiropractic and quantum neurology and activator methods and Dudley Chiropractic Neurological Rehabilitation is that a healthy functioning nervous system communicates well with an immune system. And as long as we're helping to boost and build the immune system, our bodies are more able to handle viruses and bacteria. I don't think that we should be afraid of bacteria and viruses. I feel it's so important that we help build our immune system so our body can become stronger, so we can handle them. Because that's what's essential for us to, to live on this earth, is to have a healthy, strong, vibrant immune system. When we look at the current, current health problem that we have, it's not just in India, it's around the world. It's in the United States, it's in Canada. It literally is a worldwide epidemic. And it's so important that if we can, I feel that if we can take all the different health professionals and modalities and we can work together and, and work to what, find the things that help the most then it's something that we can do together in, in helping beat this pandemic and help us because the experts believe that there's going to be other viruses and there's going to be other bacteria and there's going to be other things and so the more we can do to help build our immune system and help it i feel that's how we're going to beat it in the first place one of the most important things i think that i could just quickly give um, to the population in india is get out and walk Walking is so essential to health, to lifestyle. Drink water. We need to be more hydrated. And vitamin D is so essential for helping build our immune system. And there's so many studies that talk about with COVID, how vitamin D levels are absolutely essential to helping boost our immune system and giving our bodies a chance to be healthy and strong. Thank you.